In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a clock. Um, we'll make a couple small smokestacks. We could even put these t these um, cylinders in. It's easy enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and start out with the clock. That's going to go right at the front of our train. So we're going to go to create polygon primitive cube, and we could resize the um, the clock as necessary after we make it. So we're going to start off with the base. That's this area here. And then we're basically going to extrude it up and scale, and we're going to do a whole bunch of extrusions. So this is how it works. Go to Polygons menu, and go to Edit Mesh Extrude. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just going to scale it. Okay, and you're going to move it up just like a hair. Now I hit G. Hit G to execute the last command, which is extrude, obviously. We're going to bring it up. And then hit G again, and we're going to bring this up, click this box, grab the box in the middle, and bring it in. Okay, now G, bring it up, hold G again, okay, we're going to go ahead and scale it just a bit. Hit G again. I'm going to bring it up like this. This is going to be that whole clock section, this whole section here. Alright, so let's go ahead and make this little roof. So we're going to hit G. And we're going to scale it in. Hit And hit W to move it up. Now hit G. Move this thing up a bit. Now hit G and scale it up and move it up a bit. Now we're going to hit G and we're going to move it up a little and click the box, bring it in. Okay, now hit G. We're just going to basically continue this. Bring it up and scale it. Kind of goes in and out, so. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and do that the best I can. So bring it up. Scale it. Bring it up. Scale this one a lot. <clears throat> bring this up. Okay, bring it up again. Scale it out. I'm just doing this kind of quickly, so it's not going to look exactly like the one in the book, but it will be good enough. And you can see what I'm making here. Bring that in. Okay, this looks a little bit large, so I'm going to go to vertex mode, hit spacebar, click Maya, go to front view. So I'm going to highlight all these and just bring them down a bit. Just like that. And I'm going to do one more thing. Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. Take your Scale Tool. And I'm going to do one more. Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. <clears throat> Take your Scale Tool. That's better. That wasn't really necessary, but it just looks a little bit better. Okay, let's go to front view, and I'm still a little not that happy with these, so I'm going to just basically bring it down a bit like that, and I'm just going to scale them in, like that. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> okay, that'll work. Now we're going to face mode. Grab this face, and go to Edit Mesh Extrude. Bring it in like this. Add a mesh extrude and bring it in with the blue handle. Okay, that works. Now what we'll do is we'll make this little area around us. So we're going to go to these faces. Hold down shift as you select all four. And we're going to go to edit mesh extrude. Take your move tool here and just bring them forward. 
and take your scale tool and scale them in a bit just like that it looks nice okay now let's go just go ahead and get a cylinder Oop, wrong one sorry it's that one again we have to go to here and rotate Y 90 no nope, that didn't work zero I think it's X there we go go to front view okay just make sure this isn't getting too long here all right put it there perspective let's go ahead and put this back it's kind of up to you on the size you want to make this thing but that'll be good just like that so there you have a little clock it's a little too just a hair too big so we're going to scale it down a bit right there beautiful okay highlight this whole thing hit control G and just name this group clock I just double clicked on the word and then modify center pivot just take the clock and it's obviously too big so scale it down and we could put it right here I think this is still much too large so let's scale it down 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 let's go to front view hit up and obviously this thing should be centered like that okay that looks pretty cool it's the best clock model in the world, but it's decent. And you can take some cylinders and just place them in your train here. So we'll scale these flat. I think that was Y, 90. Nope, I always mess that up. It's X, 90. There we go. X and Z. No. Y, there we go. Okay. And we'll go ahead and just place a couple of these here. These are just some, some cool little effects. Just make it look nice on your train. Let's scale it down a little bit flatter. And let's go ahead and grab the green. Just extend it out like this. And control D. Move it down and over. Let's move it down some more. looks cool and control D move it over move it out and this one you just want to kind of make it longer like this so we're just going to go ahead and position this to the best of our ability and okay that looks good let's move it over a bit and shrink it down a little that's good very cool perfect placement control D W and go ahead and move it down and of course that's control D on your keyboard and W on your keyboard as well so now I have my two little neat little details here alright alright you could add another another uh, cylinder back there if you want. And scale X. Let's see if this is the right one. Ah, there you go. And make it smaller. A little bit longer. Now you could really go crazy making details in. And... Um, Basically, the more details you put in, the, the nicer the train's going to look. Okay, so uh, you could do a few more smokestacks if you want. You'll notice that there's a couple. Here's the the uh, the line. So you could just make your own curve. It just it's, it's exactly how I did this, except 
when you go to front view and you go to create CV curve option this time you want to just make sure you're on cubic well actually you could do linear as well it doesn't really matter and then what you do is just go to front view and I'm going to hold down shift if you want it to be a straight straight line here. Okay, so we're going to go to object mode. And if you click on your move tool, you're like, what the heck is this thing doing over here? We have to go to modify center pivot. All right, we're going to rotate it around this green arrow. So we have to hit insert. And we could put it about there. All right, about there. And then surfaces surfaces revolve option and the green is the Y so we click Y and then click revolve and you just made that alright so go to perspective what's cool about this check this out hit insert modify center pivot is you can grab this edge right this curve and I could go to control vertex and let's say this part I want to change a little I want to dent it in see that so this is connected to the model which is really cool there's ways to delete the history on that. Uh, I'm not going to show that right now, but we could always, you could always do some really neat stuff with this, right? You could do that. Everyone do this. That looks cool. Okay. Let's go to object mode. Go ahead and get rid of that curve. You can get rid of that one too while you're at it. Scale it down, way down. Hit W. And then you could build one or two on your own. Go to front view, and you obviously want it lined up so it doesn't look bizarre. All right, fantastic. Control D. Control D. You want some variation here. It looks kind of weird with the same smokestack. And the, my smokestack doesn't look the greatest, but it's decent. So we have the clock and the smokestacks and these little 